five separate shootings since Friday, and it ended with <laughs> Savannah. Yo, listen, man. Many such cases. Yeah, that's a lot of cities, man. That's a lot of cities that's having this issue, man. Um, I don't know what they all have in common, but maybe um, mm. I don't know, maybe. You, you know what I I, I find. You know, just traveling through life easier when I look at it through the lens of DNA. I've noticed yeah. that. Like I'm like, I I just see it, man. I, I'm, I see the Sandman, the DNA. I see us, DNA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it like, is easier. It does because you don't have to question. You you're not as confused, and you're not you're not wondering. You're not thinking. You're not attributing it. Oh, he's got a bad spirit about him, or. This right. guy's having a bad day or trauma yeah. or social economic factors. No, no. Like, it ain't none like, of that shit. Like, like what I do, what I do wonder though, I, about um, burritos at least is I wonder, I want to have an objective outlook on, cause I see us as being very violent. Like our potential for violence, I see yeah. it. And mm -hmm. I wonder what is it compared to like, you know, the tiger gangsters and uh, you know, and so on. Right. Cause, mm. cause when I'm around on burritos, I just, I just feel it. I just know it, you know. But you're an on burrito. See, the difference is, like, this even with sons, majority of the son animus, like son gang. If a son gang have words with another son gang, they're gonna try to kill each other. If a son were gang have words with on burrito gang, they won't talk it out. Right. Vice versa, too, I think, you know. Um, right. But what I'm saying is, yeah. So it's like, it's yeah. like, yeah, you feel different energy from your own group that other right. people don't feel. Right. And, and one thing I did want to say about that, again, the, the whole DNA thing for me, just it, it feels it's smooth, you know, it's smoothing things out. But I've been noticing how I don't know if you know this, but in Mexico, there's elections going on right now. They're killing these politicians left and right out in the worst way. Put it like that. Just, our ancestors I would have been proud. Wow. Yeah, man. It's a yeah, y'all when y'all in the Ahamaji, wait till y'all start getting little enclaves in America. You're gonna start seeing that. Well, we have yeah. one. We've been had those to be honest. You know? Yeah, but when y'all start like becoming like the leaders, the police chiefs, yeah. the mayors in those right, areas, right. it's gonna be it's gonna be little Mexico and like, shit like, like the that. Southwest, like you said in the Southwest. Yeah, exactly. Tonight, two people are dead, fourteen others injured, all from a violent weekend in Savannah with five separate shootings since Friday, and it ended with a mass shooting near Ellis Square in downtown that left eleven people shot. Police and city officials are promising a response. WJCO 22 News' is Andy Cole joins us now in studio. Andy, give us a perspective. Tell the audience really why this matters, because this happened in the heart of the tourist district. Yeah, Greg, well, take a look at this map behind me right here. Fuck this is one. Ellis Square. This is where the shooting happened last night. It's right real close, probably about two blocks south of Bay Street, a very popular area, very close to several bars. This afternoon, city officials standing defiant against an up, a recent uptick in gun violence. A mass shooting in the heart of Savannah, the first in three years. Police Chief Lenny Gunther. From what we gather right now, this incident uh, stemmed from a dispute between two females in an establishment in the area, spilled over into Ellis Square. That dispute became bigger. Individuals, unfortunately, had guns in the area. One shot rang out. That triggered other individuals to shoot. And we had multiple individuals discharge their weapons and shoot. Police say once one group pulled the trigger, more shooters fired off rounds. In total, 11 people injured. Somehow, all of them have non-life-threatening wounds. Wow. In the event where you have people... Yo, you got multiple shooters. <laughs> 11 people shot and everybody. Nobody is... That's the most sun shooting ever. Man. Yeah, context. Yeah. Man. Bizarre, man, that's a bizarre thing. On life-threatening wounds. In the event where you have people arguing and fighting, if you don't have a gun, you just have a fight. And in a fight, everybody goes home. If the gun is involved, yeah, so, it's, so it's the gun fault. 
That's basically yeah. what he did. <laughs> yep. Exactly. It's the gun's fault. And, and and this is your leader. He's got this is the discernment and the wisdom and the judgment of the man in charge. Whew. In trouble, Jack. 11, Eleven people got really. shot. Here come the mayor. Uh I mean, if it wasn't a gun, I mean uh it would just be a, a fight, you know. Like what the fuck? Multiple shooters. You have people arguing and fighting if you don't have a gun you just have a fight and in a fight everybody goes home if the gun is involved somebody goes to a hospital or unfortunately someone loses their life we want to have more fights and less <laughs> less shootings wow what the fuck hey at least he's yo, honest yeah yeah yo i i've seen some like some man like they'll fight you like it's like a 10 murder really you know Oh, the yeah. way the way that they try to hurt, you know who they're fighting with. Oh yeah, bad. especially oh, the yeah. kicks on the ground. Like when a dude is down, they'll just keep kicking the fucking shit out of him. Yeah, they'll stomp his head in, and yeah, yeah. So it's 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 the same type of like it's Africa before guns and all that. It's, it's however brutal they can get. It's just you know. Yeah, no, like, we we need more, DNA control. Not gun control. We need DNA yeah, yeah. control. It's just that they have access to higher yeah. power killing <laughs> machines, bro. Yo, I love to see these uh these sun thugs with spears. Like go out there with your ass with spears. <laughs> Man, listen, I think you would still have um a high murder rate. I think you would still like look how inefficient they are with guns. I mean, I think you would still have a relatively close murder rate if we would cho chose Spears, but I think that right. it, it would be less it would be less collateral damage. So it's like you can only throw one spear, you know what I'm saying? Like Yo, I, I, I promise you that that some kid, you know, reading a bug will boom, catch a spear. Yeah. <laughs> you either hit the person or you don't, man. Um so yeah, we would I think spears would be a good thing though. It would if you if you said that's the only weapon some men could carry, but then you got all these fucking some men walking around with spears. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like fucking really fucking weird, but you know, constitutional yeah. carry. Yeah, look at uh how they doing um like England and shit. They don't well, you can't have guns, they still commit disproportional amount of crime compared to the population is just with knives. There's still shooting here. Still, still shooting here. Oh, they still got it. No, we, we got angry black yeah, women too. We, we got angry yeah. black women too. I, I, yeah. did you see what I've been crying the other day. Yeah, I didn't it, see that. that was, it was a conviction. So it's, uh, it was a, a while back. This, this black woman, she was coming out of the station, wouldn't show a ticket. And there was a scuffle with the police, and a police officer has been convicted of, of uh, assaulting her. You check out the video, it's ludicrous. It's absolutely mm -hmm. ludicrous. Yeah. Fights and less, less shootings. Officers have yet to arrest any suspects, but say they have lots of video and other crime fighting technology on their side. Chief Gunther saying his officers won't rest until suspects are behind bars. One victim is one victim too many. If it's one, if it's five, if it's 10, right? I know the classification that, that's put on at a square and I get it, but one is too many. When you allow guns to be everywhere, you can't be surprised when they show up everywhere. Mayor Van Johnson using the weekend violence to discuss Georgia's constitutional carry laws and the city's hotly contested gun storage ordinance. I hope that any of the guns involved in this, and particularly in these events, were not stolen from somebody's car. I think for us, the city government has a role and we don't walk away from our role in public safety. Mayor Van Johnson also referencing Tuesday's primary election, saying, quote, we need people who are going to prosecute crimes and we need judges who are going to sentence them harshly. Mm. Some judges and two Democratic candidates for Chatham County's district attorney are competing in Tuesday's primary. I also asked police chief Lenny Gunther whether or not they'd be bringing in additional patrols this upcoming Memorial Day weekend because of this weekend's violence. He told me they don't anticipate that, but say they. A domestic dispute in a quiet North County neighborhood leaves siblings dead 
and a mother trying to cope with an unbearable loss. Mm. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins talked with the mother who is trying to make sense of what happened. Well, the tragedy all unfolded here in the 10,000 block of 